That's why uh, the Navy. Oh. What? Oh. We gonna, but we kind of be like out of no context. So I started talking about it after we start recording. Oh, yeah, we're talking about we were talking about Resident Evil uh, off screen, and then uh, we brought up rail guns. Well, because Jill shoots yeah. a rail or a coil or laser at the monster, and we were talking about like which one it is based off of facts we know about it. Right. And it's neither rail or coil. Apparently, it's just a giant laser. Yeah, because it was like there's no bullet. It just shoots. Because they they put a note about it in the game before you get to the boss fight. It's like, oh, it's meant to dispose of bioweapons. It's meant to vaporize. Yeah, that's everything. heat based. So it, it's a heat based laser. Well, and it's called yeah. the finger. <laughs> Technically, you get a bullet traveling fast enough, and it'll just explode on impact. Fair enough. Well, it's never really gone that much into it. But well, anyway, we're playing The Outer Worlds. But more specifically, Jacob is going to play The Outer Worlds, and I'm going to sit here and watch as he makes bad decisions. Because <laughs> the Navy's railgun can shoot a... Uh, oh, this is just a... Uh, yeah, the brightness. Can there shoot a depleted uranium tungsten bullet at a... Uh, at Mach 7, I think it was. Ooh. All right, what difficulty you want playing? Story mode. Story mode, enemies have less health and do less damage. Standard health and standard damage. Oh. I kind of... No. <laughs> All right, you want sub, sub, keep the subtitles on. On show bark subtitles. If disabled, so, well, for spoken... For words spoken outside of conversations. Do you want... I think I want that. Yeah, keep the subtitles on. Show cinematic subtitles. Yeah. Yes. Text okay. size. Oh, there we go. That's too big. <laughs> Nine and ten are literally no different. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, that's good. All right, hit the X button, and there you go. And was, yeah, Navy railgun shoots depleted uranium, depleted tungsten mm. round at Mach 7, and it explodes on impact. Or it creates an explosion on impact. God, I love, I just love this aesthetic. Oh, yeah, the art looks... I love the Fallout aesthetic of, like, old-timey future technology. <laughs> Bas Fall is basically future tech if they never invented the microchip. Right? Or, like, if they invented the microchip in the 50s. <laughs> no, because here's the thing. They still use test tubes. Or, or light, I mean, uh, light tubes. Yeah, they still yeah. use tubing. Wow. Oh. 2320. Pip was the most advanced thing, and I think that was like the first introduction of smaller computing power. Commercial space flight. Halcyon Corporation. Yep, they're the big, uh, the big corpos. No pirate. I think they're actually going to check on the. Uh, they just left the uh, the ship drifting there. Yeah, they basically just left an entire ship's worth of people drifting at the edge of a colony in wow. cryo sleep. Phineas Wells. Fugitive. Yeah. Why'd they leave all these people drifting here? Because they just didn't have space for them on the colony. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Yeah, get the money. So wait. It was, I guess, yeah, it would cost them less money to leave them there than it would to try to feed them and lose yeah, the money. Yeah, that's why they just, they're just just cheaper just leave them in cryosleep. So you get to make your character. So, I'm sorry, real quick. Huh. How the fuck do these people make money? Commercial space flight. They're also, like, the biggest corporation in, like, the quadrant. I know, but how do they make money in other worlds? Because what are they bringing back to sell? Minerals. Oh. They mine. So this is your stats. You've played Fallout. Yeah. So you know how this works. Dump stat. I bet you're <laughs> going to be very popular in this colony. <laughs> no. Uh, I can only go down one. Yeah. Oh dear. Someone vandalized your hibernation chamber. Negative faction reputation reaction. Positive faction reputation reaction. Companion yeah. ability refresh. It means their cooldowns are longer because they don't like Temperament. you. Temperament. Health regeneration per se. Getting shot you, you, you don't want to play with below average charm. I'm telling you. Why? 
because. Oh dear, someone vandalized there your you hibernation go. chamber. You got two points You're left. You're charming asshole. Yeah, there you go. Perception, effects, stupid skills, guns. It's headshot and weak spot damage. It's also engineering and lock picking and dexterity. Intelligence. Do I really need intelligence? You kind of do. Well, long guns. Like rifles. And Damn it! Stuff. I want rifles. Well, you start out with a handgun. I'm oh, pretty long sure. guns as well. So that one's fine. Both of them do it. And that one gives you extra headshot and weak spot damage. All right, so press square to go in that to move on. All right, here's all your other stuff. All right, melee skills improve. And these are your skills. You have two skill points. Who uses melee? I mean, sometimes it's just fun to... I do use I just, melee. What do I do? do I oh, you just... Um, oh, how many you, do I get? You two? select it, yeah. Yeah, there you A go. Crack shot. Capital. Dialogue. Ah, for persuasion and lying and intimidation. Oh, I fucking need that. But let's check real quick. You got stealth and leadership. Tech. Mm. Stealth. For stealing, though. Oh. Yeah, you can But I want to kill. But I want to steal. But I want to talk. But I want to be able to intimidate people. <laughs> Someone with a talent for exploiting insecurity. And that's all you get. You get two points. Yeah, so I'm gonna deselect range and go with stealth. Okay. Subtle and there you go. Exactly what I need. Subtle and All right, aptitude. No dis discernible aptitude. You're a normal everyday person. So this is like your temperament. Oh. And you'll get bonuses uh, based on it. Yeah. Or like this is like your job basically. Oh, like your profession. Yeah. Okay. So, like, you can be, like, a bureaucrat, cashier, a janitor, Wait. factory worker. Cashier subgrade non-supervisory. Oh, transaction is finished without a smile. Oh, God. Oh, God. I work in retail. No N-ray thanks. damage received. Farmer oh. dirt. <laughs> farmer. A dirt farmer. Hey, I just know. like uh, in uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Dirt. Farmer Dirt. Farmer Dirt. You don't get that yet. No, I haven't. You will once you see the movie. I'll see the movie. Don't worry. Toss ball team. How come there's nothing that helps me with like lying and stealing? <sighs> well, sorry, Jacob. They don't have politician as an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess they have bureaucrat. Well, here's the thing. Lying and politician is like... Covering your ass while lying and stealing. Criminals just lying and stealing. Fair enough. Determination. Which one do you think I should go for? Uh, well, I mean, if you're looking for, like, to be the bad guy, probably go with, uh, I would just go. Safety inspector. Yeah, you're, uh, scientist works. Sub sous chef? You're gonna need oh, a sous chef, yeah. I'd go with the science, because you're gonna need good science stats to fix cleaned up the cleaned out robot. enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. <laughs> Maybe you didn't get in the business to mop up the leavings of failed experiments, but that's just part of the job. Even yeah. if you can't see what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. <laughs> See, All this right, is this is that well, this is this is that Fallout writing. I love it. All right, now you get to pick your customize your character, male or female. Tell yeah. me when, Joey. Uh, now. Okay. I mean, what do you want to be? It's your I kind of want to make myself. Yeah. So okay. Screw it. You don't get a choice. It's Joey. your character, dude. I already have my time on the song. How do I? Submit? Oh. Yeah. All right. Now you get your. Uh... That's. Which one do you think this is? Uh, uh, mm, <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I don't know. Is there an albino option? You're not that pale. I know. I learned something interesting about eye color. Huh. 
Blue eyes means you have no pigments in your eyes, and you're actually seeing the back of the eye. Oh. The uh, iris. That's... So it's not that I have blue eyes, it's that I have no colored <laughs> eyes. It's like the same reason the sky is blue. I'm just seeing, it's just a reflection. Yeah, it's just the bending of the light. That's kind of cool. What? Oh, that's oh. your eyebrows. Like, how furrowed of a brow, how close together do you want your eyebrows? <laughs> how? Uh, okay. I don't know, that's average. Oh, no. Uh, and then the vertical is like, oh, how, how, that's like how pronounced do you want your forehead? Do you want a caveman ridge? Caveman brow. Caveman ridge. Not too big. Taking but... that human growth hormone, I see. <laughs> hey, <laughs> six foot three at age 15, something went on. Something, it said something in the food, I don't know. Brow man. verticality. I grew up near a nuclear power plant, so I can't. <laughs> really? Yeah. Right by the Hudson, on the Hudson River. Eye horizontal. How oh. far apart do you want your eyes? <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, that, that. Go with average eye yeah. size. How big you want them to be. And jaw vertical. <laughs> vertical. How, how long do you want your jaw to be? Go a little on the long side, mouth size. Go on the big side. <laughs> vertical. No, it's like up and down is vertical or is that? No hunker? says. Big old honker. <laughs> Actually kinda does look like you. Nose tilt. Does my nose tilt, Joey? Uh yeah, it's like it goes down slightly. Like that or no, like other way. that? Yeah, like that. Nose width. Okay, your nose there is we a, go. No, your nose is that big. <laughs> A bit above average. There you go. <laughs> How's your mother? Yeah. Cheeks. I don't see what's changing. Uh, it's like the thickness of your cheeks. Oh, then we need to go all the way to the other side. <laughs> hair. Uh, out of your hair. These are all going to be futuristic hairstyles. I just... Jerry Curl. Uh, bald. <laughs> that one. Yeah. It, honestly, it's still too much style for me. Uh, I just go one over. What do you get when you get a haircut, Joey? I uh, well, I get what I have now. Actually, I just got a haircut. What do you tell them? Oh, uh, I get a three on the sides, blend it up, and get about an inch off the top. I just go in three and five. <laughs> Every time, three and five. Yeah. I found what works for me. Yeah, same. <laughs> Still costly. Like, that black or brown? Uh, that is like brown. Eyebrow style. I could raise the brightness of the screen if you want. Where's the thickest brows they got? Oh, Your eyebrows, Am I wrong? You got some pretty thick eyebrows, yeah. I'm told they're like caterpillars on my forehead. <laughs> and okay, now I now I see it. It's kind of it's kind of coming together. Hmm. Yeah. That one. Now, where is orange? Oh, wait. Is that orange? Yeah. It's kind of orangey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got that... Yeah, ginger was, beard. Ginger beard. Oh, yeah, that actually does kind of look like Oh, you. wait. I want to go back. Oh, hit, hit circle. Circle. There you go. Features. Oh, like any makeup, makeup or... Oh, give me some of that. <laughs> no. <laughs> or dirt. You want some dirt on your face? You want any scars? Oh yeah, you should probably. Uh, yeah, yeah. You want any scars? I do have a little scar. Do I still have a scar on my cheek? Anywhere over there? Where? It would have been like somewhere over here, I think. No. No, I guess it's healed. It's finally healed. It only took like twelve years. What happened? I used to have a vein that came up to the cheek. Uh huh. And uh, it would pop real easy. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh. Oh, that scar. Yeah. Okay. So they just cut the vein out. Oh. Because it was it was pointless bleeding. So yeah, eh, don't have one on the other side, and that's a little too big. But no, well, maybe they got one. Oh, uh, uh, kind of like that. It's yeah, only a, like little... a little something there. Well, not to step on the forehead, but. 
wonder how I got these scars. Oh my god, I, I yeah. We'll go with that. Hey, my, my father was a gamer. Was a gamer. <laughs> Played Fortnite almost every day. <laughs> One day, mom took away his Xbox. And he got real mad. <laughs> he had a heated gamer moment. <laughs> Called her the N-word on stream. <laughs> J-Cod. <laughs> you put J-Cod. Oh, dang it. <laughs> What's back? Uh, square. I'm not dyslexic. I'm just stupid. R2. The back right trigger. Okay. And then hit square. That's your summary. All looks good. Hmm? You got 21 in engineering and 22 in lockpicking. That's that pretty good. good. 22 in intimidation. Yeah, those are good. 26 in sneak and lie. Woo. And a 22 in intimidation. You're, you're one sly bastard. That's what you are. I'm actually not too shabby. All right. That's Star. He's going to thaw you out. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Running, 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 running. What do you usually play when you play this or Fallout or anything? What do I usually play? Yeah, like what do you, what archetype do you usually go for, I guess? You usually go for like the gunman. Long range? Yeah. Assault rifle? First time I played this, I uh, I went melee. Initiate skip jump. Skip jump. I play Fallout 4, I always go with either the Brotherhood or the Institute. Depending uh, on how patriotic or scientific I feel. Terra 2, orbiting laboratory in the Halcyon system. They got a whole system named after them? Well, it's their system. They're the only ones that go there. I guess so. I'm sure they already had like a proper name. Like, shit. Delta G-242. <laughs> Omicron. Omicron Percy I-8. <laughs> Well, no, like, a lot of the galaxies are literally just like, oh, hey, look, let's call that one Orion, or Stellaris, or, I don't fucking know, Delta. Call that one Delta G. Oh, there you are. Delta G242. They, eh? they, they get tired of naming, so they just get a system. Oh! That's Otto! From what? It's Otto Mentalis. It's the same voice. Who's Otto Mentalis? From Psychonauts 2? Oh! Don't you hear the voice? I never really paid attention to Otto. Uh, I like him. Oh. Explosive cell death? Yeah, explosive cell death. Not to worry. I pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so It's basically cocaine mixed with PCP. Don't ask me how. It's the future. <laughs> it's the future. I just picked two drugs that first came to mind. I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. And certainly not to ingest. I'm going to tell you right now at the end of the game, you do have, you do have the option to run them into, to the, run star. Them into the sun. Star. <laughs> into, a star the sun. into the orbiting star, yes. Wait, what? You can't just throw us into the... See, I love that, like, Fallout brand comedy. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, ah, it'll work. Just... Alright, there we go. <laughs> I, oh my god. We made the joke already, but like, like Joker from uh, oh my Batman, god. where he's like trying to blow up through the hospital. Like, it's not working. It's been 60 it's like, oh, years since the ship disappeared. I probably said it disappeared mid-flight once they realized how fucked up it was, and it took another 20 years to get there. All right. Smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. Oh, the pulse monitor. Yeah. Sure, it's never going to break because that's the most used finger in the human body. The pointer finger? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So I can uh, yeah, I get it. <laughs> I just poked him several times. I know. See, so you it's your trigger finger, it's your pointer finger, it's your main typing finger. Oh, we're entering the atmosphere. If you ever manipulating something nine times out of ten, you're using your pointer finger. Well, we're not dead. <laughs> Wish we were. 
No explosive cell death. <laughs> yeah. Now just, now just release the explosive detaches from the uh, drop pod. Oh god, I forget how good this game looks. Oh, well, that was Hawthorne. Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away. Not stand there holding it. <laughs> oh, well. No sense in letting his ship go to waste. And that's how you get your ship. <laughs> any guns? No, he doesn't have any loot on him. Just follow the marker. I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Whoa. All right, now I know how to jump. Let's break the game. No. Get, come on. No, the speed run for this game is is crazy though. Yeah. It, they they beat the game in like twenty minutes. Well, by running it into the sun or star. Yeah, they go for the bad ending, but it's amazing how much they uh. Oh no! Press circle. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I know. You gonna try to slide? I don't think there's a Lame. slide in this game. Or maybe that's a skill you pick up later. I don't want to eat you. Back here. No. All right, come on, get back here. You don't have any weapons. I'm gonna crush him with my foot. Take him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, avoid detection. Oh. Sneak. You well, sneak. someone's. You sneak. You sneak. Is that alive or dead? I don't That's know. dead. Yeah, he's dead. I'm sneaking from something else. I think you're supposed to stay in the grass. Oh, but you can get some Adreno. Don't Adreno is your health, is your uh, stim pack. Marauder Thug. He got his legs ripped off. By what? I'm guessing we're going to find out. By those things. What are those things? Uh, the awareness meter over enemy heads tell you if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Yeah. Timid... Canid. Yep. Just see, gonna sneak on past me. Oh, they see you. Yeah, stay crouched. Whoo, those are some big Doesn't ones. really tell me. Yeah, it does. See, it starts to fill up. Oh. When they're, when it starts to fill up yellow, and then it'll turn red when they Which see would you. just say words like cautious, suspicious. Unaware. No. Unaware, cautious, danger. All right, I think you're good. You can uncrouch now. Oh. Time Ooh. distortion. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Yeah, my guess being frozen for 60 years would do that. No, you gotta go down there. That's a glow stick. Oh. Ow. Oh, yeah, use you L1. You have low health. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. Yeah, consumes one Adreno. That's your stim pack. There you go. I have an inhaler, and uh, it doesn't work on the legs, I'll tell you that much. Well, I've used inhalers. <laughs> Don't work on my legs. My legs suck. Oh, hey, it's a guy. Hey, you. Come here. Yeah? What's the matter, buddy? Now. now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Spacer's choice. Oh, yeah, you can patch him up. Well, why would I do that? Because you're... Because what? He'll help you. Oh, we're all part of the Spacer's choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Uh huh. Then my gun oh. right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? You are barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Misfired right by your side. We're hiding in a cave and blocked off the exit. Spacer's choice policy clearly stipulates that dead and as good as dead are two completely different properties of matter. Ah. Unless I'm dead, I'm contractually obligated to attend to my post. I will report that illegally grounded spacecraft if it is the last thing I do. Capitalism. <laughs> yeah, to what? Capitalism. All out with a single shot. 
Not bad. <laughs> Legally, there is a difference between dead and as good as dead. <laughs> That's a good idea. Give me your gun and I'll go help. And I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You were talking all your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. I'm not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Yes, nailed it. No, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be you tried the rest, now try the best. <laughs> Do you know anything about the hope? Oh, is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this big the drug runner. Nothing, but <laughs> I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo. Competition. Company policy. Yeah. You hit your head or something? Yes. You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Spacer's uh, Choice communism. The veil. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our food. Might be. Alright, I'm off. You have a gun. Jacob. Jacob! <laughs> <laughs> I told uh, you you could kill just about anybody in this game. And why were you surprised? You said I was going to do this. I, you know, right. I didn't think you'd kill the very first NPC. He's good as dead. And now he is dead. You could have fixed him up. Oh, God. Well, now he doesn't have to report to his Oh, God. Everybody's going to hate you. Who, the two people that watch this, you and me? No, I mean, Spacer's Choice is gonna hate you. They don't know. They'll know. How will they know? They'll find out. Alright, yeah. well, I'll just go shoot the barrels. Damage my ears! Ugh. Ha. What just happened? <laughs> Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... <laughs> yeah, I'm not listening to you, old man. Tactical time dilation. Due to complicated stem complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes the time differently. Okay. That sounds proper. Yeah. Processing the tactical time dilation button slows down time, giving you time to think as well as to take observe. action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains the meter very slowly while moving it and attacks drain it faster. So that's the R1 button. That's the purple meter under your health. Okay. Basically, it's like... Uh, yeah, it's a tactical time dilation. Come back, little buddy. The way they explain it makes it sound more plausible, right? Oh shit! Who's that? It's a marauder. Shoot the shoot the barrel. She he's dead. Shit! Use your tactical time dilation. See? <laughs> But I use so much of it. Double clicking the dump button uh, and and holding left or right dodges. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Yeah. Am I still? I oh, still crouched. <laughs> Is there a melee button? Uh, I think to press in one of those sticks. Maybe that's the melee button. Yeah. 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 Come back, little buddies. Tactical time dilation. Why? Because you can catch them then. Ooh, oh. light ammo, a sentry saber, and a bit cartridge. You have a new item view. Oh yeah, press the touchpad there. Ah, this is lock picking. Okay. Hacking and lock picking skill help you get into places you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts. Okay? Mm -hmm. Are used to computer. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many meg. Oh, uh, it's a lizard. Yeah, the inside of the window. Yeah, they get in there sometimes. Well, inside of the uh, the screen, but outside of the window. Yeah. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. So you can pick that. You can pick that because you have way have more two. lock picking than you need. All right, you know, old square. Telescoping staff. Iconic spacer's choice telescoping staff. Okay. All right, and there's two more things that I was supposed to use to uh, steal that. And food. Oh, a third one. Ooh. I'll just sell all this down at the company store. 
You actually can. This is going to be a long episode. Probably. What do you want to call off here and then make it two episodes? Uh, yeah, sure. I've already killed one guy. Jacob's <laughs> already on his path to being a war criminal. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we will see you next time.